guys, so I thought it would be a cool idea to film a couple of behind the scenes of some of the videos that I do. I think I'll probably put like two behind like the behind the scenes of two videos together in this one video. I'm sure I'll decide obviously by the time it's edited and up, but yeah, I think two. And I'll do them every now and again just so you can see some of the weird stuff that I put together for my videos. So one that I'm working on today, I keep getting a lot of requests for like a neutral, natural sort of makeup tutorial, like a look that's just like a go-to everyday sort of look. I mean, most of the time uh, I don't wear makeup during the day because it's just, it's really hot here and it's gross and I don't want to. So what I'm going to do is just film my version of everyday makeup. Like if I do put makeup on it and I want it to look natural, that's the look that I'm going to film. Why do I keep doing this? It's really annoying. Anyway, and I was like, ah, this is really weird because I'm not a makeup artist and I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of like slap things on and hope for the best. I mean, I've seen some techniques, of course, because, you know, back when I was working on photography sets and stuff and I get to watch the makeup artists do their thing. That was really cool. So I learned a fair bit back then. Um, but I was thinking uh, I want my background to be a bit different because, again, I'm not a makeup artist, so I want to do something that's a bit different and a lot of people seem to be doing that sequiny glittery background at the moment on YouTube and I don't it's pretty full on so um, what I wanted to do is construct a background out of like flowers because we have this netting that Bo uses to hang up his hats in his room and so I'm stealing one of the, some of those two of those and um, I went and bought like $70 of flowers <laughs> not excessive but yeah, so I thought I would take you guys along for some of the more interesting videos, show you how I put them together, what sort of stuff I do. And yeah, so let's call this episode one and I'll bring you guys along. So these are the flowers. I got some chrysanthemum and some baby's breath. Am I the only one who thinks chrysanthemums smell like feet? They smell really bad. <laughs> like bad feet, dirty feet. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is put these this netting up on a backdrop stand and then I'm gonna thread some flowers through it. I hope I have enough. Okay, so I just moved it to a plain wall because you could see like the kitchen bench top behind. So we've got that. Maybe I should put some more leaves. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. But look at the mess. Yeah. The flower backdrop worked out pretty well and I decided I want to put two of my lights facing the wall so it's lighting up the wall and the light bounces off so it's just a soft white light behind the flowers and then I'm putting up my regular lights in front of it to light my face but I'll show you guys more when I get back I'm just trying to make it so I can actually sit on my butt on the ground because otherwise I'd be propped up and I might be able to just tilt it So this is what I was filming just before. Can you see like the little flecks of light? Maybe not because it won't focus. Come on. Where's the next product? There you go. I can't decide how I want the fonts though. I've been playing around for a bit and I downloaded some new ones. Uh, we'll see. Peel four kiwi fruit. Take a cup of frozen diced mango, three bananas, chia seeds, shredded coconut, and the seeds of heart. Good morning, it's like 7 a.m. at the moment, I think about that. But um, now I'm gonna work on a food, like a meal prep kind of video, but I'm just gonna be filming breakfast. 
and I've got like I played around a couple of times with the recipes just to figure out exactly how I wanted them and I've written out my list of ingredients so I'm actually gonna go and buy my groceries online uh, I find that's really easy because then you can just search for what you're looking for and you don't have to spend your time in a supermarket and I have so much stuff to do today that it's just gonna be quicker I love this because you don't get distracted by buying other things that you don't need Frozen mango. That's what I want. Okay, so groceries just arrived. Spinach and sweet potatoes and tomatoes, avocados, capsicum, bananas, all of that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I've got to actually make the food now. Some of you are asking what my new tripod is. It is this Manfrotto 290 Extra. That's what it looks like. And I'm about to turn it upside down so that I can film some of my food footage. So this is it upside down now. You can see the head of the tripod is under here. So I haven't decided which camera I'm gonna be shooting with yet, but whichever one it is, I'll attach it here. And then I do basically like a flat lay up on the kitchen bench of the food. Smoothie bowl, it's super simple, so you're going to... How was that? Just waiting for these to cook, and I put a chop up. It's pretty handy having this, though. Finding the music is probably one of the annoying things to do and it takes a long time especially because like uh, there's a lot of restrictions around music and what you can use and what you can't use and you'll get done for copyright and stuff. If, uh, if you're using a commercial like a regular music track and it reaches 30 seconds I don't know if a lot of people know but you'll get done for copyright you can't actually monetize your video. And there's a lot of royalty free music online as well, but it depends what attribution licenses has as to how you can use it. So the ones that you can use pretty freely are attribution, uh, the, the attribution, I can't even talk, license 3.0 and license 4.0 where you have to credit the artist and sometimes you have to link back to the artist depending on what they state and it's free for you to use. But a lot of royalty free music you can't actually use on a monetized video. So sometimes, to save myself from hours of searching around, like time is money in my world, to be honest. So I like to jump on one of the websites. I'm using Pond5 right now, and I'll just purchase music. You can get a track for like $20, and if it's something like an acoustic track or something quite versatile, I'll use it in quite a few videos. So definitely get my money's worth rather than spending hours and hours trying to look for something that I can use for longer than 30 seconds. This is sixty dollars. Sixty. I think I'll go this one. It's half the price as well, and it's longer, and that's good. It's about three minutes, so. That is enough time for a recipe video. So normally what I like to do is clip together my intro first and I'll just do a rough clip together of everything along the timeline and then I'll come back and do all the color grading and stabilization last. So this is what I've got so far. Let me unplug my headphones. Pretty happy with that. Um, 
I don't really want the intro to be any longer than like 15, 16 seconds, I reckon. That's long enough for a food video. So when I'm recording my voiceovers, I use this on my phone. It's a Rode IXY microphone. Pretty handy. It comes, you can attach like a wind filter to it as well. But normally if I'm recording, I'll just turn off the air conditioner and turn off the fish tank for a little bit just so I can get the recording done. I normally have to only go through it once or twice to get it all finished. And I'm just using the Rode software as well to do the recording. And you just open it up like that. And I normally rest my phone on something just so it's nice and steady. The first time I used it, I was holding my phone and it was going like too, you know, like closer to me and away from me and the volume was changing and I was like, no, I just need to rest it on something. Next up, we have a savory breakfast. breakfast. So this so will serve two people. people. Take two, two washed sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. Dice them up and oil your... Okay, just been uploaded. So that's all done and uploaded. Oh, and look at this. I did this just before. Woo, I didn't mean to zoom in. Hang on, let's go backwards. All right. I put LED strips under the kitchen counter. I thought it would look kind of cool and they're LEDs, so it's gonna use a bit less energy than using like the normal overhead lights. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my behind the scenes videos. They're a bit more casual, as you probably noticed, like, don't really hang out and make up too much and come to bother to do my hair half the time. Um, I'm gonna try and bring you guys along for behind the scenes stuff of my more complicated videos if I can. If you see a video that you like and you want to see how I make that sort of thing like meal prep or something, just leave me a comment letting me know what type of video you want to see the behind the scenes of. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!